just be keeping it player. I want I just be keeping it player. I go, I just be keeping it player. I want Fuck with me, it could get gangsta. But I just be keeping it player. Young Tom Bone. Hey, what it do, man? We got family in the in the house tonight. Fucking with the kitchen web show. So everybody know Dallas scene no tone is the promoter. Yeah, now we got Tone the DJ. Yeah. And your latest, your latest rep is Tone the artist. Ooh. So explain what you're trying to do with your artistry, my dude. Well, basically, man, um, a lot of people don't know this though, but my main niggas know this. I always was the one that was like trying to run with the, with the big dogs when I was younger, trying to hang with niggas that was older than me, trying to prove myself and trying to uh, make a name for myself. You know what I'm saying? What, however that, whatever that meant, whatever was getting new for to talk about tone was what I was on. But I didn't realize back then that's a form of branding. So now it's like social media the way it is. You got motherfuckers that can't even really rap. That's rapping. You got motherfuckers that just got a following and they taking their following and doing other stuff positive with it to put themselves out there. So that's kind of how I went from being a promoter. Everybody was like, "Damn, this nigga throw live parties." I said, damn, let me start talking on the mic at my own party. Why am I hollering hot? Why am I hiring a nigga two hundred dollars when I can talk on the mic? Yeah. So I started emceeing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I started fucking with Rick and them and doing that. And then um years later nigga was like, Why don't you just DJ too, bro? Like damn, you just might as well just do the whole thing. Yeah. The whole so, package. Yeah, the whole package. So I bought my own equipment, bro. I started DJing. And then now I've been DJing for two and a half years. Now people like Damn, you got all the bitches, you got all the access to cars, you got venues, you got niggas that make beats. Why don't you do a song? Why don't you start doing music? You like music anyway. So that's kind of where my mind was when I put out the song. It was just marketing, bro. It wasn't even, I ain't even look at it like, oh, I want to be a rapper. I want to be an artist. It was just like Sam Harvey and them was in the booth. Sam Harvey's an a artist song, Never Satisfied. He's like, jump in there and freestyle. That, that song was a freestyle. I didn't write shit down. Yeah. Didn't have shit in my phone. I just jumped in that hole, man, and just and just did it, bro. Yeah, because from what I remember, nigga, you never wrote shit. Never. Even when we did a track. We, yeah, we've been trying to push you to rap for a long time, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you're taking that route. You know, I'm real Appreciate tough. So, it, man. Mad Now, bro, if you promote that shit right, track you got out, Mad Now, bro, it's a hit, fam. Real shit. Appreciate what, that, So, who produced it? And you know what I'm saying? So, what so it was. I, you already said it was like basically a freestyle. I wasn't even. Yeah, the beat is, produ is produced by a dude named D Stacks. That's I, a boogie song. D, I, St D Stacks. Yeah. Hold up, real quick. Was the track already? Did you had a hook together before you went in there freestyle? Bro, I literally walked in there. And he was like, jump in the booth and put a beat on. Yeah. And he put the beat on, nigga. And I said, put some out on my shit. Yeah. Nigga, it was a bunch of niggas in there snickering and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was kind of like Easy E off of NWA. Niggas in there cracking jokes and shit. Yeah. Everybody was like, bro, Tone, this is you. They was like, nigga, this, just go in there and talk shit like you know how to talk shit. Yeah. And them niggas, I heard everybody turn the lights out. I'm telling you, bro, like, we in there, the glass and shit. Niggas doing all this dumb shit. Like, yeah. I said, bro, y'all niggas just relax. It took about seven texts, bro. And I knocked yeah. the hell out. And the niggas was looking like, that hell. Yeah. The house sucked, but it ride. And I'm just yeah. like, what the fuck does that mean? You know, like, for us lyrics is trash, but how you present it and how it sounds is loud. Yeah, that's, shit. that's the industry nowadays. Bubble been long and foreign, never satisfied. The films on my niggas touring. And a nigga fly as hell like Michael Jordan. Now, and I'm in the club, they be 